Hello and welcome to the third part of my DIY custom desk PC. Today we're gonna paint this sucker. So first of all I wanna thank you guys all for hitting the subscribe button. The support in the last couple of days and weeks has been really amazing and we surpassed 500 subscribers on this channel recently, which I'm eternally grateful for you. I didn't expect this to happen that soon. Um, at the moment we are already at like 525, which is just amazing. Thank you for that. But now let's get started with the actual building process. So if you haven't watched the last parts, you can check them out up here just pause this video, watch the other parts and then come back here. It's gonna make a whole lot more sense. So we're gonna take off right where we left the last time. We had everything nicely assembled and to test fit everything. But now we're gonna take it back apart again to make the holes and paint the thing. So I started off making some various holes here and there for like feeding cables through the desk or other stuff like that. I also cut the holes in the front piece for like my I.O. panel where I have power button, USB ports and my the cut up for my audio interface and also a cutter in the middle for a nice reservoir. It's gonna look really nice with the black front panel and the reservoir with the orange liquid in it and some LEDs shining through. It's gonna look great, you're gonna see it. And then I also started planning out where the components go into PC boxes and drilling the mounting holes and my holes for cable management. Doing this is really easy with this material as it's just 10mm MDF which you can drill through, use a jigsaw, some rasp and files and you get a really nice hole. Here you can also see that I cut out some foam for the hard drives to set on to cut down on the vibrations that they will make that they don't get ran transferred into the desk. They're still gonna be held down by some screws but they aren't touching the wood directly. Then after all the holes were cut I took some 240 grit sandpaper and went over everything to get out all the scratches and the imperfections to make it ready for painting. Before painting I also cleaned all the panels so there is no dust on them which can interfere with the paint and so I get a really nice adhesion and a nice surface. I also gave the whole room a bit of a clean because that accumulated quite a bit of dust on all the surfaces which could fly in the room while I'm painting which isn't that good. Like I already told you in the last parts, the paint I'm using is black spray paint which is really easy to work with and looks decent. So you can see me here painting the various panels, which was quite easy, I didn't have any problems with runs or anything, so it went really smoothly. And as you can see here, the finish is pretty good as well and it's gonna look great. Now that I have cut all the holes I need and painted everything, I can assemble the whole thing again to make the final parts. The main thing that is left now are the reclaimed wood finishes on the sides and on the top and also of course the computer building and some various pieces here and there. But that I will do in a further episode and that's it for this one. 
If you liked it, please leave a like down below and also subscribe to don't miss any of the further parts. If you want some more frequent updates and more behind the scenes, you can check out the forum links down below where I post my work log actively. And I also have Twitter and Instagram handles down there where I post some more behind the scenes and other fun stuff. So thanks for watching and until next time.